One bit of example that I is part of what I was adding into Making is Connecting in the second edition of Making is Connecting is I talked to electronic artists such as that's Little Boots and Emika, who are people who not only make their own electronic music using their own equipment, but they, so they write that, they produce it, and so you can just make all that stuff within your own bedroom, essentially. Uh, but also they, they have their own labels, and they distribute, and they necessarily do their own marketing, and, and they do all parts of the making and distribution process themselves. And one thing is it enables you to evade the sexism of the music industry and just completely work around the industry and, and to work around all of the other aspects of the music industry, the way in which the music industry keeps most of the money and gives you a tiny bit and so on. Um, of course, at the same time, it's much harder work because you're having to do, lot, you're having to do all of the jobs that previously the record industry was doing for you. Um, and for some people who step outside the industry, of course, they end up going, oh, yeah, the, <laughs> that, those companies were actually doing something for me and I, it's difficult to do it on your own. It is difficult to do it on your own. But um, in lots of the things that enthuse me most about the technologies that we have now is just that opportunity to entirely do it yourself, circumventing most of the systems. Um, in terms of uh, what I talked about with these women was also about the sexism of the industry and so on. And of course, you still have the opportunity to be abused online in the way that we all do, and which is horrible. Um, but in terms of being in control of your own craft and making and how you get it out there, at least there is that now, and there still is that now. And even though Facebook has got all of this surveillance and blah, 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 you, you know, Facebook is just one thing on the internet, obviously. And there are many more things we can be doing and different ways of connecting and making. Um, but it's strange, I suppose, that we have allowed certain platforms to just become so big and dominant. It's not something that just us in this room can change, but th there's so much possibility for doing so many other things. It's kind of weird that we would allow such massive monopolization to take place. Um, and we don't need to, and we can still get away from that. That is the positive side to this.